Whoa, 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 what's going on now, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Pwn, we have a brand new loot cave, the only one to rival the original loot cave so far, so do pay attention. You have to go to Patrol on Moon, you follow the path that I am currently showing you, heading all the way over to the Hellmouth. Now, you gotta navigate around until you get to the staircase that many of you guys have actually been in before, and you have to maneuver your way up into this roof piece. Normally, you kill all the creatures outside here, for some reason, there was just a bunch of guys that went in before us, and they already killed them. Uh, if you do find that the acolytes on the outside are not spawning, though, try to clear the area. If that doesn't work, return to orbit. There's always, you know, occasional bugs that happen. It happened to us once after a public event. But for the most part, after you kill those guys, you kill the three knights. Some of them can sometimes spawn as majors. You try to jump up here successfully if you can. If you're a hunter, though, I don't know if you can make it with the triple jump or anything like that. There is a light post behind me where I was jumping that can actually kind of give you a little head start. And then usually you could just jump up here in one jump too if you're a Titan or Warlock. But again, you can navigate your way through there. And once you're up here cozy in this position, you can get one, two, three guys even up here in the higher portion. And you could do this. Icebreaker is ideal for this. You could sit here and you can snipe these knights. As soon as you drop these three knights, though, it actually triggers the spawns of the acolytes outside. So unlike the other ones where they were on six second or nine second or 40 second delays, as soon as this third knight is killed, they spawn on the other side and vice versa. When these acolytes are actually dead, these spawn instantly. And that is pretty unique because you can even kill quicker than the original loot cave was. I also recommend always bringing an RPG in case some of those acolytes get out there, especially if you're running this solo because there's some of them that can get behind some of those barriers that you need to shoot out there. Instead of having to jump all the way down and run all the way back up, you can do this. In about a 15 to 20 minute window, I ended up with about 4 blues and 12 to 15 greens. So this does sit on par with the original loot cave so again share it with your friends enjoy it get up here and start doing it yourself and let me know how it works out for you guys take care guys have a great evening